We recently did Every Tiny Home is a Different Deadly Sin here on this channel and the comments on that video. You guys are pushing hard for a Kaz version of that. So while it's fresh in our minds, here is Every Sim is a Different Deadly Sin. And this video is sponsored by Scentbird, a fragrance subscription service that allows you to explore multiple different scents every month. I have literally had the same perfume bottle for years because I'm too afraid to commit to buying an expensive bottle and not liking it or getting sick of it. You know, it's just too expensive for me to risk it. Scentbird solves all those problems. They let you choose a new designer fragrance every month for just $17. They have perfumes and colognes and tons of unisex options. Each fragrance you get comes with a 30 day supply so you can really test it out, see if you like the fragrance before committing to buying that big expensive bottle. These are the three scents that I received this month. We have Sugarful Sunshine by Michael Germain, Fearless by Rachel Zoe, and we have Florgasm by Heretic. You can actually open it up very easily and inside is where you're gonna find your perfume. These are the bottles that they come in. This is actually a lot for me. Like this is gonna last me way more than 30 days, especially between the three of them. My boyfriend and I were actually spraying these yesterday and testing them out to see which one we like the best. And I think my favorites were these two here, the Fearless and the Sugarful Sunshine one. They also send you these cards here about each fragrance. And the Fearless one has hints of vanilla, which I love. I think that's probably why I like that one so much. The Sugarful Sunshine one has hints of pineapple, yellow mango, which I wouldn't normally pick for a fragrance for myself. But now that I've tried that one out, I think I might be exploring that a little bit more. So I am super excited about these. I'm definitely gonna be trying these out and finally tossing away that same bottle I've been using for years. So you can click the Links in the description. Use my code SIDMAC for 55% off your first month at Scentbird. That's just a little over $7 off your first month, and this is available for the US and for us in Canada. Thank you again to Scentbird for sponsoring this video, and let's get back into it. Categories, Categories. Deadly, Deadly Sins, Sins Extravaganza. Extravaganza. We'll be doing all seven of the Deadly Sins here today. I have seven Sims lined up. The seven Deadly Sins, of course, being Pride, Greed, Lust, Envy, Gluttony, Wrath, and Sloth. And all I've done here so far is added skin details. I went in and added lashes. I adjusted their faces a little bit just so that we don't have to spend too much time doing that and we can focus more on styling them. So we're gonna start off with this sim here. This is going to be our pride sim. Pride is also known as vanity. Pride can be defined as the excessive belief in one's own abilities. It can also be an excessive love for oneself. Basically someone exhibiting the pride sin would be thinking they're better than everyone else or wanting to be better than everyone else. So that's gonna be this sim's goal in life. Okay, so for our traits, we're gonna be self-assured. These sims tend to be more confident. Maybe we could also be snobby and self-absorbed. Oh yeah, this one is perfect. These sims are all about themselves. There are different colors that represent the different sins as well. And violet is the one that represents pride. So I'm gonna maybe set my filter to purple. I do have my custom content on and I downloaded a little bit extra for this today. Ooh, look at that dress. That is really pretty. I want this to be like bedazzled. This sim always wants to look put together. They spend a ton of time on their appearance. And I don't want these sims today to look like they're just like walking around on the street. These are gonna be like extra fantasy inspired. That one is gorgeous too. I love that dress. Out of all of these ones I've seen, I'm kind of leaning towards maybe this one and we need to go in and add a whole bunch of jewelry. The makeup, we're gonna do like extra makeup. Everything on this sim is basically just gonna be like dressed to the nines. Ooh, look at that purple shadow with those eyes. The sim is beautiful. And I might lean into like a dark lip, like a dark purple. For hair, I'm kind of thinking of like an updo. This sim gets her hair done every single day. She's got the morning routine glam squad coming over. Oh, that's so pretty. Look at those curls. Or something like this. Oh my goodness. Oh, this is also stunning. I don't know what it is about this hair, but it made her eyes like pop even more. I am obsessed with this bun, but I feel like it might be a little bit too messy for what I'm going for. Let's give this one a go. Let's be honest, this sim looks so pretty regardless. And for jewelry, I wanna put on every option. We need like the dangly earrings. Maybe pearls would work best in this situation. And for a necklace, I feel like for pride, I'm drawn to pearls or like maybe something like this. Actually, that is really pretty. I think that actually matches those earrings. We could also do a nose like septum piercing maybe, like this small cute little one. I have these eye gems that go like right underneath that I think I'm gonna give to this sim and I just changed her eyeshadow. And for her bracelets, we're gonna have them on each side. We definitely have to go all out. Like those are perfect. Those 
are from my wedding stories and we need something for the other side. Maybe some pearls for over there. Ooh, we can't see her shoes. So I'm just gonna give her some regular pumps. Do I have a hat of some kind? Okay, this is so too much. But if we add like a tiara or if I have like a hair piece, I can put it. Ooh, that looks pretty actually. That looks so pretty. I'm just comparing dresses here just to make sure that I like the one that we had on the best. I keep coming back to this one though. Maybe we'll use this one on another Sim. I think for the aspiration, we're gonna go Mansion Baron just cause it says this Sim is all about owning the biggest and the fanciest home. Bottom line, they want theirs to be the best. So this is gonna be our pride Sim. I love her dress. These Sims are all gonna end up looking like they're going to like a ball. Okay, we are gonna move on. This is going to be the greed Sim. Greed can be defined as the desire for material wealth or gain. It's a selfish and excessive desire for more of something such as money than is needed. And this Sim can be associated with the color yellow. So for our traits here, we're definitely gonna go materialistic. We could go ambitious. They're always chasing that need for more. And for this one, we're gonna go self-absorbed as well, I think. While I was doing my research on a lot of these, I noticed that some of the traits crossed over. I feel like in a way, a lot of these kind of go hand in hand. So, okay, for our hair, I want this Sim to have long hair. Maybe something like this. The Sim really suits like the bangs. And for my outfit, we have a lot of options here. There's a lot of yellow dresses that I've got. I'm looking for like gold, extravagant. We could use this one. She looks like a gold statue. There's also this one, which looks so pretty on this Sim. I'm kind of leaning towards the other one though. Or like this could work with the gold band around. Let's try this one for now. I'm also going to go and change the self-absorbed trait because I feel like this Sim might be very mean. She just given off that vibe and for our aspiration, we want to be fabulously wealthy, of course. Okay, makeup. We're going to go gold. I'm waiting to use more of like these darker ones. Like I really want to use this one for wrath. This could work and maybe we do like a dark eyeliner. I'm thinking for the necklace, I wanna do like layered necklaces, like something like that could be really pretty or like that. Ooh, the rings. We definitely need to go in and give her rings. I don't think I give pride rings. We're gonna have to go back and do that. Maybe some bedazzled fingernails, like those match. Pride, get those rings on. We need some purple nails while we're looking into the mirror. There we go. I also have some of these accessories here that we could add on there. They're like gold chains we could put around her neck. Okay, now I'm torn because I found this outfit here. This is like a skirt and shirt combo. This fit here is giving always been rich, born rich, still rich with the hat and she's all of a sudden like that rich mean girl. So for greed, we're gonna have this dress here with all of the accessories with this as her extra mean girl look. We are moving on to lust. So lust is probably one of the most obvious ones on here. Lust as a sin is defined as a self-serving need to have one's own physical and emotional desires met without regard for others. So obviously for trade, so we're gonna go romantic. I feel like the self-absorbed trait could work. Oh, and maybe we can also be non-committal. Our aspiration is going to not be the soulmate one. We're gonna go for the serial romantic aspiration. This says, this Sim wants to play the field and go on dates with all sorts of interesting people. She's kind of serving that short hair look, so we're gonna go with that. And I also learned through the comments on my last video that this Sim can actually be associated with the color blue. To me, that just seems kind of weird. I made my lust tiny home red obviously. So maybe we can go for a combination. That hair is gorgeous. I kind of don't want to look for another one. That just suits her so well, her like jaw and everything. Okay, we're keeping this. Maybe we'll keep it with like this bluey black color, maybe with like a dark red lip. That works so well. Oh, this Sim is so far my favorite. We're going to add a nice blush. Her cheeks are going to be flushed, maybe with like that as her necklace. We're not going to be going all out like we were with the other Sims in terms of jewelry. Ooh, this dress is so pretty. Look at the back on that too. There's even a dark blue swatch we could go with and we could do like red accessories. Something like this could work or like this dress even. But let me see what happens if we add like the shoes, stockings maybe. I was thinking maybe like fishnets. I've also got these stockings. Or we wear something like this. This sim is serving. We're definitely doing the red fingernails. We could potentially add on like this arm piece here. I also have something like that that could look cute. I'm gonna go with this. I haven't worn those arm pieces yet. We're gonna try them out and maybe we'll just do like a bracelet. Okay, I think this is gonna be our lust sim, lust sin. She got the red bottom shoes on the back with the red necklace, the red nails, and the dark blue dress. Okay, moving on, we are gonna go to the next one, which is Envy. Envy is one of the tiny homes that we did in the every tiny home is a different deadly sin video. Envy as a sin is obviously jealousy. It's a desire for others, traits, status, abilities, or situation. Basically, an envious sim wants everything else that other people have. Envy is associated with the color green. So for our traits, we're gonna obviously do jealous. Oh, she's posing. We're gonna 
to do materialistic. They want all of these material things, even if they don't have them. And I was also thinking maybe hot headed, like maybe they get angry if they don't achieve these things. Ambitious could also be the same kind of thing. They gain powerful moodlets from career success when they get what they want, but then they're really upset if they don't have what other people have. Let's do that. I think for this one, we're going to go, this sim is all about owning the biggest and fanciest home. I'm going to kind of copy the pride sim. Maybe we can copy a little bit from the greed sim too. Like this sim wants what they have. So maybe, what was that other hairdo that I wanted to do for the pride sim? I have so many hairs on here. I need to clear them out so bad. Oh, I think it was this one. Okay. So we're going to try and copy their look because this sim sees the other sim as confident, sure of themselves in this sim's eyes. <gasps> Wait, that's perfect. Envy is associated with like snake representation. This kind of looks like a snakeskin outfit. Okay, we have to use it. For eyeshadow, I would love if there was like a green and gold moment we could do like this, but if the bottom was gold, I mean, the purple could work. We're copying the pride sim. Okay, we're gonna keep it, I think for now. Maybe we could like wing it out. I feel like envy would just be more of like an evil sim. Maybe we should change the ambitious to evil. I'm gonna try and find some like pearls, but like cheaper looking pearls, maybe like these ones or even just like one pearl <laughs> copying pride's jewelry, but it's like not quite there. Maybe we could also do the under eye things. Same as the earrings. We're gonna have a few on there, but they're not gonna be pearls like the pride sim. Oh, there is a snake one actually. I think we have to do the snake one. Oh wait, I actually have snake earrings. Those are even better. Or those ones. Why do I have so much snake stuff here? Okay, so this is gonna be the final makeup. I just added a highlight. I changed the saturation on the eyeshadow so it was more like the green look. We're gonna add some accessories. She's totally giving like evil mermaid. Shoes, even though we can't see them, we're gonna go with like a gold. Maybe those could work. For accessories, we're definitely gonna do the green fingernails or maybe gold. Copying the greed sim. We're gonna add a couple bracelets on this sim. Nothing too extra, not like the pride sim. And there we go. This is our envy sim copying the pride sim, trying to steal that look with all that jewelry and the hair and everything. And there we go. So moving on, the next one we're gonna do is gluttony. And when we think of gluttony, a lot of people just think of like overeating, food consumption. And while that is true, it's also referring to the desire to consume more than that which one requires. That can refer to food, drink, or wealth, overindulging in things that you don't actually need. So the traits for this sim, we're gonna go materialistic, AKA overindulging in material things. Glutton, which this one is described as always enjoying eating no matter the food's quality. They can eat spoiled food and rummage for food in the garbage. I was hoping to combine that with foodie, but you actually can't. So instead I went for overachiever. They're gonna be overachieving, overindulging over it. <laughs> for aspiration, maybe we could do the master chef. This sim can be a chef who loves to eat and taste everything they make. And the color associated here is orange. I was actually thinking, and some people mentioned in the comments of the last video as well, it would be really fun to do like a legacy challenge this way. Kind of like the not so berry challenge where these traits are like set for your sims and they have like a little description or something. I don't know, it got my mind moving. Okay, overindulgence. I kind of want to do like a food related outfit here. If I have anything, maybe if there's like a dress with cherries on it. What if we did a cute dress like this? I love how that looks. This hair color is super pretty on her already. Oh, the braids could be cute. Or like a long hair like that. Like that looks really nice on this sim. I didn't give the sim lashes. Okay, let's give her some makeup. And then I want to try and find some accessories. I feel like I do have some like candy inspired jewelry. The sim doesn't look as evil as the other ones. We're going very warm with everything. Warm toned hair color, makeup, maybe with a gloss like that. And for accessories, this is where I'm hoping we can find something to work here. Oh, we do have the strawberry earrings there. Those are from Cottage Living. Or there's the ice cream ones, which could be kind of cute. I think they have different swatches too. Let's do the ice cream. I'm not seeing any candy necklaces in game, but I was considering doing like a candy inspired necklace. Like this one, kind of looking like those ones that you eat. Those would get so sticky and like gross if you did eat them. <laughs> that just like unlocked a memory. Okay, I do have this hat, <laughs> but then she's gonna look like a freaking peach. Like it does have food energy and we could make it cute. I just might have to change her hair. Oof, maybe. Um. Okay, here's the thing. We could go with the all orange outfit with the hat and everything, which honestly I do think looks kind of cute, even though the hat is kind of funny. But I also have this strawberry dress, which we could change it to this like red hat. She's an apple now. <laughs> and I feel like that looks super cute too on her. So maybe we'll give her both outfits. She's definitely not as evil as the other ones. I think the hat maybe kind of keeps her from having that. But there we go. We are moving on to the next one. And this one is going to be wrath. I am low key so excited to do this one. Wrath as a sin can be defined as a strong anger and hate towards another person or thing. Can also be associated with resentment. So 
So this sim is going to be hot-headed, mean, and evil, just straight up hateful. We are definitely gonna be going with the public enemy aspiration, meaning this sim wants to make enemies and be a famous criminal. And obviously the color we're gonna be associating with this here will be red. We could do like space buns referring to like the devil horns. These ones I have are actually also pointy. They kind of look like ears. Also something about this giving that evil vibe. I'm gonna bring down the corners of her mouth a little bit. They were kind of like turned up like she was smiling, but I want this sim to look mean. I wanna do heavy eye makeup. There was that one that I have. This one is so good. Okay, is there a red? Yes. We'll do like a red blush. Maybe a red lip too. Oh my gosh, she's gonna be so fierce. I think I'm gonna change her eyes to red. Oh my God, that works. Maybe we could also give her a scar. Like she has been through it and back again. I wanna give this in piercing. Even though they're kind of covered by her hair, I'm giving her these ones here. And for the necklace, I was thinking like a choker. Even that Realm of Magic one could work with the red gem on there. Or there's this one with that like tooth on it. That's cool. Okay, I love her. Let's give her an outfit. I'm trying to see if I have any good like red leather pants. There are some in the game, but I don't know how I feel. I want some big like stompy boots. Maybe we could use those. Her feet look tiny. When Sims are angry, they literally stomp around. So those boots look pretty stompy. Wait, I also have some of these like super gothic looking. What if we give her this? Change the shoes. There's also this super bright one. I give her some stockings. We'll do bright red nails or maybe red gloves. This looks really cool too. I think this might be it with the slit on the side, the choker. I kind of love this. Okay, I think I'm gonna leave it. This is going to be our wrath sim. And the final one that we're gonna be doing today is sloth. So sloth is another one of the tiny homes that we did in our tiny home video. It can be associated with laziness, unwillingness to act, carelessness, desire for ease, even at the expense of others. So obviously our traits are gonna be lazy. We can do slob. Maybe we can do clumsy in there as well. Or I was even thinking like hates children. Maybe the idea of having kids to them is just too much work. And for our aspiration, it has to be something easy. They want the easy life. Oh, this one's perfect. Fabulously filthy. This sim revels in filthy, messy homes and avoids cleaning at all costs. Procrastinate, dodge chores, lower your standards and find creative ways to thrive in the filthiest of environments. Perfect. So the color here is going to be light blue. We're gonna look for a messy hairstyle. I have this one. It's gonna be an alpha hair though and every other one is a Maxis match. This is probably the messiest one I have. Alpha hairs do sort of nail that messy look though. There's so many more strands going everywhere in like alpha hair. Okay, we're doing it. We're gonna try and go kind of neutral with the makeup. We'll put on a little bit, but not a lot. This sim is way too lazy for that. It does kind of seem like these sims are going somewhere though. Everyone is dressed like formal. Maybe we'll have everyone dressing that way, except for this sim. This sim is not leaving the house. Ooh, this cloud shirt is perfect. The tiny home we built was revolved around like sleep. Actually, I do have like a cloud dress. I have this here, which actually kind of works. It looks more like a nightgown. This was the one I was thinking, but it's way too put together and formal for this. Or we literally do even these shorts looking like PJ shorts. Okay, I think we're gonna go with these shorts just because these could be the Sims like multi-purpose shorts. They're PJs, they're going out shorts. We're gonna get some like runners, even just like something like this. This Sim is ready for bed. Maybe we can have a purse full of like snacks. Maybe there's like a small pillow in there. I don't know. We'll do some tiny earrings for this Sim. Maybe they got their ears pierced when they were a kid and those are the same ones. Nails aren't done. I think we're just gonna leave it. So this is our sloth sin. She is so not dressed up like the other girls ready for the party, but that's okay. Let me know which one was your favorite out of all of these. I will put these sims on the gallery under Cindy Macrod if you wanna download them. Thanks again to Scentbird for sponsoring this video. Check out the links in the description and thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Thank you.